in her left breast, near her heart, of course. Her words are tight and tucked where secretions of milk once fell white. White like the pages I anticipate to write or type on. White like the wedding dress she never had, like her teeth that was once present, like her eyes that led me to her in dark evenings. Your wife and mom did they learn? I wasn't sure how to find you, mama, or perhaps I didn't search like I should have Glenn. Glenn was always there in your absence, sheltering me, consoling me with colorful phrases inculated with the tongue of Africa and those of the colonizers. The tongue of the colonizers that my people still try to speak fluently, but at times thick lips won't allow according to them. <laughs> but to hear God say, in the sharpest of tones, mind you, <laughs> it was more beautiful to me than any Shakespeare line, any quote from the Raven meant more to me than her attempted phrases in English and French. You didn't have to tell me that you loved me, Glenn, because I knew. Glenn Mel, Glenn Mel better than I guess. More than those words can ever illustrate. More than any kiss on the forehead can ever demonstrate. As I watch you in front of your pilon, pounding the spices of love, love to me smelled like Onions, garlic, and hot pepper in my <laughs> Felt sticky like that. The real if I'm asking to you, oh, so vigorously, rub on my chest. I thought you wanted to kill me then. <laughs> <laughs> Sounded like your thick accent. Sounded like your giggle when I spoke in my thick accent. That was I wanted to I wanted to keep you with me, gun. Past the trip to the airport. Past the American Airlines flight back to New York. Past that frigid energy that greets me after leaving you. I am so proud. Even as I am ridiculed in school. Oh, you're Haitian? Haitian movie scratcher. I was unfazed. It could have been easy to deny because my tongue shows no real traces of you, but I couldn't. I admired you too much. I, I wanted to smell just like you, that light jasmine, basilic, and strong underarm odor. Your scent, more appealing than any French perfume you received on Christmas that you decided you will not wear. You smell like a hard worker woman. Your stench perhaps wasn't acceptable here, but I only care to be accepted by you. So counting days until summer, until I could be with you again, I waited for the tapes you would send, recording hours of love in your beautiful tongue. I felt your coarse hands, saw your beautiful dark skin, your colorful skirts, your toothless smile, your short spiked hair, descriptions of a goddess. I'm so sure God. And now that I am older and you have gone on my blue, I no longer anticipate summers. Insomnia has befriended me, so instead of counting sheep, I count your words, Glenn, and some of the words that you didn't teach me, like Leme, Mawia, Zel, Lolo, Souffle, Figi, Shaluska, Lauzi, Bougie, Lali, Mouchoir, Until I drift off, meeting you in a dream again where I am still a small child holding on to your carabella skirt as if my life depended on you. Depended on it. That's it, girl. I know this is a celebration of Haitian women, and everybody who knows me knows that I write mostly about women issues. But today is Monday, the Day of the Dead, and my father recently passed, so I have a piece, like the only piece so far for men, called Garçon, and I wanted to recite it this evening. So it's like my first time reciting it. Garçon.
there's a shadow in his bullet. A shadow of his skeletal chest, inflating, deflating, inflating, deflating. With droplets of sweat that trickles all throughout empty bone spaces on skin, making its way down to his splendid pelvis. I hear your song. You, you, sugarcane vendor, you really know how to sweeten me up. Despite the look of melancholy on your face or your brisk salutations as you take five food from me not even looking into my eyes because I know the fog red and your once white eyeballs tell too much, more than you ever admit. But you will always be my shining knight in armor. That man that presents himself in my dreams. That man that helps me regain balance when I trip on cracked streets of port au without even expecting a thank you. You're alone heavier than anyone could imagine, too much for any bullet to carry that you carry because no one else will. I know that sometimes you cry in dark corridors with encoming food. As the only thing that brushes against your lips at night, you would offer any woman the world if you could, if it wasn't your fate, your destiny, heck, your heritage even. Grunts as you push your boy through the crowded streets of the city that has been dismantled before your eyelids, but still, you offer that sweetness. You, sugar cane vendor, Femdus. You spend your long days cutting king flies as your only companion grunts as you push your bullet past a brother of yours that has the same grievance, but you don't dare share a word, huh? There are no group therapy sessions with Dr. Phil's over here. A shot of clear, maybe, a lit candle, maybe, a plea to the ancestors, to the laws, maybe, but listen. Listen to the ringing of bells. The ringing of bells, so magical, so alluring. The shoe shiner is now ringing his bell. A sound so immaculate, luring the sound of the cathedral at noon. The shoe shiner is now ringing his bell. The sound of God is in your fingertips. Sounds of God is in your fingertips. You, true shiner, you illuminate my path. Your bench is a throne fit for the highest of kings. In your rags, the deepest secrets of the underworld. You know all we dreadful waters, the waters for all colored shoes. You've seen muddy trails and tired feet that has traveled all throughout Haiti where you help shelter corns and bunions of calloused hearts. But tell me, please, who will carry you, sugar cane vendor, shoe shiner? Who will illuminate your path? Like an infant, I would securely hold you to my bosom where heartbeats become music only if you let me because I know your pride is all that you have. I would sing for you, ring a bell for you this time, so that you could finally sleep, where contained dreams burst, moistening your pillowcase, creating a reality you've always wanted. Gotcha. Yeah.